morning. All right, friends, it's Sunday dinner. Let me tell you what. Here's the issue. I made this before, but I did not make my Alfredo sauce. So we're going to make our bacon mushroom stuffed four cheese manicotti. And we're going to make our own Alfredo sauce. All right. Sunday dinner. All right, first thing we want, we want to get our bacon started, and we want to start breaking down our mushrooms. I ain't going to bore you with cooking bacon. You've seen me cook bacon before. I ain't going to bore you with breaking down mushrooms. I'm going to do all that, and then I'll come back to you. All right. Handy chopper comes in. Well, handy. We'll chop our bacon up. Like that. Second half of my bacon over here uh, cooking. When our bacon gets done, I got these mushrooms done. I see my buddy. He don't like mushrooms. So, what I do is I'm going to make our, our mixture, our stuffing, first before I put the mushrooms in it. Probably while they're sauteing. And I'll show you. I'll pull some outside for him. Alright, we got a rolling bowl going. Take our minnow cutty, mini cutty, and I got that. And wrap our noodles in. All right, we'll let them cook, and then we'll uh, film in our ice bath here that uh, we're gonna set up. Our ice bath is there basically uh, to stop it from cooking. We want these al dente. All right. Get back at it. All right, you get your garlic in there. Our mushrooms. We'll let that wilt the mushrooms down. Shouldn't be long. We'll wilt them down and uh, let's get started on the rest of our stuffing. All right, we got our manicotti cooked. They're in the ice bath. They are al dente. They're still, you know, it's it's still, you know, it's gonna take some cooking. But uh, that'll be that'll be enough. We got our bacon all chopped up, and we have our mushrooms and garlic sauteing here. They are almost done. Okay. We got our Padawan here waiting to make Alfredo sauce. Are you excited about learning how to make Alfredo sauce? It's good stuff. You're gonna love it. It's so easy, it's ridiculous. Alright. We are gonna finish this up. But in the meantime, let's get our uh, our non-mushroom lated sauce done. Alright. We pulled a little bit of our bacon out for the uh, non-mushroom lover for his uh, stuff. Alrighty. We're going to use about 15 ounces, about 30 ounces actually, of ricotta. We're going to add another teaspoon or so of garlic. We're going to add 8 ounces of your favorite hard cheese. About a tablespoon of salt. This will change later because we're going to taste it again. And some pepper. We'll get all that mixed up. We're going to hit it with our stick blender. Get everything creamed together. All right, grab right back with the stick blender. All right, we get our blending attachment to our stick blender. And I'll turn off to our spoon for the moment. And we'll go at it. If you don't have a stick blender, I don't fret it too much. Just make sure everything is just mixed real good in, in small particles because of our next step here. So we're going to pipe it in our noodles. Alright. Bring all that together. Alright, we're going to make a homemade popping bag. First thing we're going to do is take a Ziploc bag. Take a, take a Ziploc bag, take two of them, 
And we'll put the corner of this one in the corner of this one. All right, you see? Then we'll take some of our bacon only mix. Enough for a couple of my coffee. And we'll stuff it in there for right now. All right, and we're ready to stuff the manicotti. We'll cut the tip off of this, just the right size that we want. All right, now, we'll add our rest of our bacon in there. We'll add our gorgeous sauteed mushrooms. All right. And we'll go back at it with our stick blender. Get them mushrooms to the right consistency. All right, and <clears throat> we will take this piping bag that we made, and we're going to cut a hole just about the size of what we want our filling to come out of. So. We will take one of our manicotti, put our popping bag in there, and we will fill that sucker up. Look at that, already, already filled up. Yeah, we got three of them for my buddy. Oh, and by the way, if you're thinking this would look good on a chip, just throw it in the oven until it melts. And eat it with a chip. You ain't had nothing better. Girls, really? they are pepperoni fans, so we're gonna just make some pepperoni in there when we do this for them. And I'm gonna try a couple of them too. But you know how we like pepperoni. So we're gonna use a lot of pepperoni. <laughs> I know a little pepperoni too. Alright! Now, what we got to do is we got to make our Alfredo sauce. This is what we've been waiting for, hasn't it, Tyler Keeney? Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to make our Alfredo sauce, and uh, then we're going to bake this. Depending on how al dente your noodles are, probably, uh, I don't know, about uh, 45 minutes to an hour uh, with after we make our Alfredo sauce. We still have to make the Alfredo sauce and bake it in our Alfredo. All right. I think that's enough grease. All right. We have a little bit of our uh, cheese and uh, bacon mushroom mixture left. We're going to use that to season our Alfredo sauce right at the end. And uh, we're going to cover these and uh, hold them until uh, we're ready. We're on another hour until probably we need to put them in the oven. So, yeah, you can make these ahead of time. You can uh, you can put these things in a Ziploc bag and freeze them, and they will stay indefinitely depending on your uh, level of survival skills. But, uh, yeah, there you go. We're going to cook our Alfredo sauce now. All right, for our Frito sauce, take our same pan, drain all the grease out of it. We're going to take about three quarters of a cup of butter. We are going to let that butter come to a liquid state. get our uh, butter ready then uh, add some mixed garlic salt and pepper heavy whipping cream. What we want to do is make sure that we're not too high of a heat to start out. We're not going to add it all at once, so we'll add a little bit. Let that come to temperature.
Whoa. We're scared a little bit. Right about now, things need to start printing in our oven. And we'll go to about 350. Now, what we want to do is slowly, slowly bring this up to temperature until it starts to simmer. Alright, so we're letting it come up to a simmer. We have kept it uh, a little bit stirred here. Slowly bringing that cream up to temperature, bringing it up to a boil. Alright, now what we do is we take our Parmesan, and we want probably about four ounces at first. Let's put about four ounces of Parmesan in there. We'll whisk that in and melt it really good. And, uh, you know, our fragrance sauce is pretty much done. Yeah. Alright, we've got that last little bit of cheese and bacon that was left over. Whisk all that in. I've already killed the heat. All right, what we've done is made a loose Alfredo sauce, and what we want to do is we're going to take our uh, our manicotti, and we're going to put some Parmesan, sprinkle Parmesan over the top of it. All right. We're going to take our Alfredo sauce. And we will pour that over the top of it. Alright. And that will thicken up in the oven. We're going to cover it. Foil. We're going to bake that for about an hour. 45 minutes to an hour. About make it 45 minutes, and then the last 15 minutes, take this off of the top of it. Let that kind of brown up on the top. There you go. Show you here in a minute. All right. See how it's all solidified now? You got the pepperoni on that one. Yeah, them's ready. Our guests are here. Let's, uh, let's play. Oh, all right, there we go. I got some of the uh, pepperoni covered ones, and then these other ones are uh, the bacon mushroom. Tell you what, that's excellent stuff right there. I don't think I've made better. Let's see here. We got uh, the beam team here tonight. How y'all people doing? Man, I'm enjoying this. This is fire. It is. You enjoying it? Huh? This is my that's favorite fire. one. You do. Awesome. And y'all made, uh, so I think it was tomato game. sauce last time, didn't I? Or did I? I no. made chicken Alfredo. I made chicken Alfredo. Yeah. Last. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this usually I make this with tomato sauce and uh, I made it with Alfredo and it's really good. It's really good. It's phenomenal. Mr. Travis, it's sir. It's great. The pepperoni is awesome. Awesome. That makes it really well for you. I think uh, I might make some pepperoni ones next time. Miss Keeley, you enjoying it? You like it? Mm -hmm. That was a good idea with pepperoni. Thank you, honey. Medicine. Is it good? Yeah, you like it. You can't even stop eating. Yes, we got everybody here. We got uh, a couple girls that don't even want to be on camera. Honey, are you enjoying it? Yeah. So, what's your favorite part about it? Everything. Every, everything of it? Mm hmm. Mm. That does look good. All right. There you go. Sunday dinner. Y'all have a good one. Little doggy.